Hello and welcome to this new video talking about dynamic array formulas. These new formulas are available only for Office 365 users. If you are using any other version of Excel, you will not be able to enjoy the whole dynamic array concept. Dynamic array formulas are particularly eight, which is sequence, rand array, filter, xlookup, xmatch, unique, sort, and sort by. But it's not the whole story about the Office 365. It has a new concept and a new calculation engine that makes your experience with Excel completely different. The new calculation engine allows Excel to determine naturally and automatically if the formula will result in a single or multiple values. If the formula will result in more than one value, the formula will spill automatically and it provide you with list or array of values. This is completely different from the old days when you have to hit Control Shift Enter to run your array formula. Now, in all cases, you just hit a single key, which is Enter. Actually, this will not be a single video. It will be followed by two or three more videos discussing the dynamic array. So we are going to touch base on the dynamic array for sure and the overall spill concept which differentiate Office 365 from all previous versions of Excel and we'll also see how other formulas like sum and sum ifs will behave when combined with array formulas and how the old array formulas like transpose or frequency will behave under the new Excel engine. First video will be this video or video number one and we are going to demo the spill concept. We'll talk about sequence and rand array formulas. Also, we'll see how the hash pound works with the spilled arrays and we'll combine some other formulas with sequence and array like count, count A, date and text. We'll see also how conditional formatting can be extremely useful with dynamic array. And finally, we'll see all these in three examples, including an example of how to generate random data table. If you want to follow along while watching the video, or even if you want to practice after watching the video, please go down in the description section. You will find the link. Please use it to download the Excel file and also use the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified with the new videos. Let's start our video by trying to understand the spill concept and how Excel determine the outcome of the formula if it's a single value, so it will be only in a single cell, or it's a list of values or more than one value, so it needs to be spilled in an array of maybe sometimes in one column or maybe one row and sometimes in multiple rows and columns. And let's start by this small example. It's a Boolean expression. We just simply try to compare between a value like what I have here, the 120, and list of values, as you can see here in list one. And I'm going to compare them together using this, the less than operator. So I'm going to write a very simple formula here in this cell. So I'm going to hit equal, and I'm going to, to select the 120, and then I'm going to type less than, and then I'm going to select the entire range for this list. And here I'm asking Excel the 120, is less than which in the full list. So it's going to compare the 120 with the 100 and then 150 and then 200, 250 and so on and so forth. The outcome should be more than one value. It will be a list of trues and falses. And that's why when I hit enter, you will see that the formula will spilled. As you can see, I have here uh, multiple answers. First one is false because the 120 is bigger than the 100 and then the rest will be true because the 120 is less than the rest of the list. So as you can see here, uh, if you look at the formula bar, if you select the first cell, the formula lives in the first cell. So you can edit, you can change, you can do anything you want. But starting the second cell, you cannot edit because you can see the formula is grayed out, it's dimmed, you cannot change. Even if you want to delete the formula, you have to delete only the first cell. So I'm going to select the first cell and delete. The entire list will disappear. Control Z to undo. If I try to delete second one, it will not allow you to delete, it will remain. Let me do another test, another important test. I'm going to copy this formula and then I'm going to delete it. And let me write anything here, like let's put my name and enter. And let me try to put the formula back. You will see that there is an error called spill because the formula didn't find enough space to spill 
the uh, four results that's why it gives you this error which is spill hash and spill and you can see it gives you where exactly the area that need to be empty for the excel to spill out the formula so i'm going to delete this once i delete the formula will come back um, also the f the false and trues i can uh, convert these values into zeros and ones because in some formulas you need zeros and ones and instead of false and trues you can just copy the formula carefully from the formula bar you can go here equal open bracket control v close the bracket and multiply by one and enter again the formula will spill but this time with zeros and one but what if you want to get a single answer for your formula in this case you need to have another function to help you getting one answer for these trues and false so you can use something like or and and so let me try to put the same formula inside or so i'm going to type equal or tap control v to copy the same formula close the bracket and enter this time you have only single answer in a single cell which is true because or needs at least one true and you have five trues so the answer the aggregated answer for this question will be true Let, let's try the same with and so i'm going to this cell i'm going to hit equal and then and tap control v close the bracket and enter this time it will give you false because and to give you a true it need all the answers all the list of answers need to be all true to give you a true so you see that you can get a single answer in a single value but you have to use something to aggregate like or or and in the case of boolean expression let's have another example like mathematical expression as you can see here i have two lists this time i have uh, two lists of values list one and list two and let's try to multiply both lists together so i'm going to hit on equal and then i'm going to select the first list and then multiply and then select the second list and hit enter you will see that the formula will spill and it will multiply each and every single from the first list to the second list and for sure it will respect the order you can do exactly the same but this time you can use plus instead of multiply so i'm going to copy the same formula and i'm going to change the multiply by a plus operator and then enter it will give you again more than one value a spilled result as you can see here and you can get again a single value but this time you need to have an aggregation like an aggregation function like sum so i'm going to select the formula that i have at the beginning control c this time i'm going to write equal and sum tap control v close the bracket for sum and enter it will give you a single value in a single cell which is a summation of all this value but it is in one step as you can see here the 28000 here is the summation of this list 28000 you can do exactly the same for the other formula i'm going to copy equal and sum control v close the bracket and hit enter it will give you automatically again the summation of this list so as you can see excel will determine automatically if the answer of the formula will be in a single cell or multiple cells depending on the expected result if it will be a one value or multiple values and also you can intervene here and add an aggregation so you can get the entire answer in only one cell if you don't need the spilled out array or the spilled out list of answers or list of values in next example i need to generate random data table let's say that i'm going to prepare a video for you and i need raw data in order to start my video so i'm going to generate a table of random data this table will contain ids for 15 customers and also a 12 month in the columns the headers of the columns will be a 12 month so i need to write something like jan feb uh, up to december and then i'm going to generate some sales data inside the intersection of the columns and the rows and i need to use the new formulas the new dynamic array formulas sequence and rand array and i'm going to combine this with some old formulas like text date count and count a so first step is to generate the customer id list so i'm going to use sequence simply sequence is giving you serial numbers so let's try to understand how sequence works i'm going to sell a 
seven and I'm going to write equal and then sequence s e q here is sequence function tap and let's follow the help from Excel first thing I need to determine how many rows how many rows means that how many rows down here I need to generate the serial number so I need to generate let's say let's start with something like five I need five rows five serial numbers and then I can determine also how many columns so let's put again another five this means that the sequence will generate table of five by five in the rows and in the column and also it will ask you where to start what number you want to start at let's start at one and then comma and the steps you will start at one uh, how how many steps you need so if i put two so it will start with one then three then five let's put five so it will be one six eleven and so on and so forth let me close the parentheses and enter you will see that automatically a new array spilled or the formula spilled an array of values it starts with 1 6 11 16 and then in the next row 26 and so on and so forth up to 121 this is not exactly what we want we need to do some changes so let's try to edit together i'm going to the formula bar again and try to edit so the five if you remember is the number of rows if you remember the requirement is to have number of um, customers as 15 so let me just select the 5 and I'm going to select cell B3 in order to give the 15 the value of 15 then number of columns I need number of columns to be 1 I need all in one column so I can write 1 however the default for this formula is 1 as well so I can just delete the 5 and leave two commas with empty um, in between them so meaning that it will use the default which is 1 and then uh, I start at one is not a good start for a customer ID number so let's start with one thousand and one one zero zero one and the steps last one the steps should be one again because it is the default is one for this formula so I can delete the five and the comma and if I hit enter it will generate as you can see from 1001 to 1015 15 customer IDs as you can see here and because I do the reference to B3 if I change this to 10 the list will be shrink only to 10 and so on and so forth second step is to generate uh, the month name here in the header of the columns so I need to write here Jan, Feb, March and so on and so forth I can use the formula sequence again so I'm going to write equal S E Q and tap number of rows should be only one row so I need one row and multiple columns I can either write one or just do a comma directly so it will use the default which is one number of columns will be the number of months I want so it will be 12 I'm going to select B4 in order to use the 12 and then comma the start let's put one as a start and step will be one as well and then close and enter you will see it will generate a list from 1 to 12 which is representing the month number but this is not exactly what I want I need this to be uh, written like Jan, Feb, March up to December in letters so let me start by trying to convert this to a date so I'm going up to the formula bar I'm trying to edit and I will wrap the sequence with the date formula hitting tap so we need to start with the year for the date formula as you can see I need to put a year let me put 2020 as a year and then the month month will be the outcome of the sequence formula so the one will be January two will be February and so on and so forth and finally I need to put the day let me take the first day of the month for all and then I'm going to hit enter you will see it generates the serial number for the date if I select and change to something like short date you'll see that the first cell will generate 1 1 2020 1 February 2020 1 March 2020 and so on and so forth but again this is not exactly what I want I need the three letters for the month Jan Feb March so on and so forth so I can wrap this again with text formula I'm going to write text tap 
and then I'm going to give a value. The value will be the outcome of these two formulas together, the date and sequence format together. So here is my value. The second parameter will be the format. The format after putting the comma, the format will be between double quotes. The first double quote I'm going to write here and then the format I want is MMM, meaning that I need month in three letters. Then the other double quotes and close the bracket for text and hit enter and see here exactly what we want Jan, Feb, March up to December and again I can control with these two cells so if I just need only six months if I hit six and enter as you can see the table will shrink to only from Jan to June now we need to fill inside the this area we need to fill the numbers and it should be also dynamic like what i have here so in this case i cannot use sequence but i can use the rand array let's try together again equal to start our formula and rand then you have your options rand rand array rand between ours is rand array i'm going to select and double click and again asking you how many rows number of rows will be exactly the number of customers and then number of columns will be the number of months what will be your minimum and what will be your max my minimum will be 5000 assume this is the sales so 5000 is good number and then the max will be 10000 and then the final question is this numbers are integer or decimal for me i need it integer so i'm going to write true close the parentheses and hit enter and as you can see the numbers will be generated automatically in both direction in the columns and in the rows perfect and very good so let's try something different now uh, let's say that i need to count this list of customers so let me try the formula count here so i'm going to hit on equal and write count and then I'm going to select this list so uh, I want you to look at this formula bar while selecting so I'm going to select the first cell it will write here as you can see a7 so I'm going to select and then start to drag as you can see here it is writing the range a7 up to a10 but what if I select the entire list you will see that it will write a and then hash pound this means what meaning that we are looking at the entire spilled array or the entire spilled list whatever the size how many time it will change this formula will look at this list regardless of its size it will be dynamically changing the size with the change of the size of the spilled array so let's try this together i'm going to close the bracket and hit enter here is the count 10 let me try to change this to 15 the count will change to 15 and if you try to edit you will see that the range updated automatically with the size of the spilled array and this is very good and useful so i can take this formula here and instead of just pointing to a number of customers as you can see here i can just copy this formula count a7 hash i can just copy delete it from here i can go here in the rand array and instead of looking at b3 i can just paste this formula i can do the same for the second parameter i can again use count but this time count a because i'm going to count text and then i'm going to select the entire list the b6 pound will be written automatically or b6 hash pound will be written automatically you can hit enter it will give you the same result exactly as the previous so now your table is perfect let's try to change the size of the table let's put here only five and another three here your table is changing very dynamically last thing is how to use the conditional formatting with this table so uh, let me start with uh, the header i need to give something different for the header so i'm going to select the entire uh, row i'm going to use this arrow on the header of the row and i'm going to select and then i'm going to conditional formatting a new rule let me select format cells that contain and from the options down here i'm going to select no blanks meaning that if the formula if the cell is not blank please do some formatting the formatting i want to do i can do it from here hit on the format button it will open the format cell dialog box 
I can do something like fill. I'm going to fill and then let me select the green and then the font. Let's do it like bold and the color will be white and hit on OK and OK one more time. You can see here the header. Only the non-blank cells is formatted. If I change my selection again, let me put like uh, six months this time. You will see that the formatting will be dynamic with a change in the size of your table let's do something for the rest of the table so i'm going again to select the entire row number seven then i'm going to hold shift and control together and one arrow down another arrow down to select the entire sheet let me go again to conditional formatting i'll do the same new rule format cell that contain no blanks format this time border and let me select the dotted border outline border for each cell the font let me put it like italic and then okay okay one more time let me go up and see what happened you can see that your borders is in the right place let me try to change another time the size of this table let me generate 15 customers and 12 months as you can see here everything is working dynamically and changing as you change the size of the table i think conditional formatting very very useful strongly recommended with dynamic arrays in the next video we are going to look at unique and sort and we are going to see also how some and some ifs working with unique and sort that was all for today and finally if you didn't subscribe to the channel please do like the video if you like it and leave me a comment and see you in the next video and bye